Before we get into this video today, I just want to inform y'all that this video is not to be taken seriously. I like Sonic, and this video is only for entertainment and comedy purposes only, and gaming purposes. And sometimes, and sometimes I just have issues, and I just kind of want to talk about what's what's with the Sonic games. That's all. This video is not taken to be seriously, like I said. So please don't please don't dislike this video. I like Sonic. And let's get to the video. Now, if you look at this channel here, like, what do I might most mostly upload? Well, let's see, some Nintendo, Smash Brothers, and some other stuff. Uh, let's ignore these videos in the bottom. But guys, that's not the only thing I like. The o the other thing I like, like, other than Smash Brothers and Mario and Nintendo and stuff, is Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog is just really awesome. It's really cool. I like Mario, but Sonic's cooler as well. I mean, literally, I have some. I have like two Sonic games. Oh, okay. I used to. I have a DS with Sonic games, but I literally don't have it anymore for some reason. I think it's broken. Um, like literally, I had I had games like Sonic Rush, Sonic Colors, and all that. And also, I also got Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. I even got the Winter and the Original Olympics. Like, I got Sonic All-Star Racing Transform. And for my DS, I had um, Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing. I even have Sonic comic books like Sonic Universe, Sonic the Hedgehog, where they actually shows a bit of Sonic Unleash in here. And then Sonic Universe, well, it features Knuckles. And also a, a special World's Unite for Sonic and Mega Man. I mean, that's cool, real, really. I mean, that's not the only thing I, I... That's not like... I mean, Smash Bros. and Nintendo are the only thing I like. I just also like the blue bur blur himself. But, <laughs> my, I want to talk about today's video is my issues with Sonic games. Literally. Now, guys, I really like Sonic. I just don't know. It's just my my real problem is is that the way. Well, we're gonna talk about that. But before we talk about the whole issue, like my whole issue, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. And if you like this video, leave a like and comment in the comment section below. And let's get started. Let's do this. So there are a variety of Sonic games, like from the original Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic Adventure, like Sonic Adventure, like Sonic Riders, Sonic the Hedgehog, or Sonic 06 for short, and like Sonic Rivals. Man, I remember. Oh wait, I also had Sonic Rivals for the PSP as well. Um, yeah, there's like a lot of Sonic games, and let's not talk about this monstrosity here. Well, I mean, though I didn't mention it, but we're not gonna talk about that for like a while or something. Anyway, let's get back to into it. Like most of the Sonic games are really cool, right? I did play some Sonic games. I even played the Sonic um, Sega Collection, like the classic collection. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you what the real issue here is with my own. Like, what? Let me tell you what the issue is. My issue with Sonic games is well, let's say Sonic Unleashed, for example. And I did just get to play a little bit of Sonic Unleash, just a bit, on the Xbox. And I actually, but when I looked up gameplay of it, I just realized something about the whole mechanic. Like, at daytime, Sonic is the, his normal Sonic the Hedgehog self, right? Yeah, nighttime, he's a werehog, or, like, mixed up with a werewolf and a werehog. You get what I'm saying, wait. No, werewolf and a <laughs> hedgehog. Never mind. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, right? But the thing is, this was the only time the Werehog was ever mentioned. That's all. They put. They mentioned Chip. They just mentioned Chip slash, like, Gaia. And bam, <laughs> they put... And bam, they put it in the game. It was a good... People like it. And all of a sudden, they... Some the mechanics and all, and the characters were never mentioned again. Which is kind of odd. Now wait, do you, now I can see why Sonic, Sonic and the Black Knight and Sonic and the Secret Rings are like also kind of one in the, or actually like I have some characters that one forgot because some of them were like fairy tales. Well, 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 Black Knight is some sort of medieval or something. Yeah, and and also Sonic Chronicles the Dark wait the Dark Brotherhood. 
I think this features Shade. I tried to get this game, but I couldn't. I didn't have the chance. I think it features um Shady and Kinda. And yeah, I really don't. And Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Now, guys, my issue... Okay, the real issue here is literally it's literally with the storylines. Like, most of the storyline makes sense. And some, some don't, literally. Like, yes, the storylines are cool and all that. But what, I mean, but what are mostly, but what are most hero, heroic video games are about? Well, something happens, some villain tries to take over the world, and then the hero saves at the end. I mean, that's what every Sonic, that's like, that's what every hero g game is, right? Well, my, well, the thing is, like, hmm, like the Watch storyline, for example. Shadow the Hedgehog, it's all about, literally, like, governments and all that, and it literally talks about edginess. I mean, that's actually cool. Also, so Shadow the Hedgehog is kind of my fa- is actually my favorite, um, Sonic character. To let you know that. Like, mm, let's see what kind of Sonic games that I, that might interest. In. Like, um... Um, oh yeah, the whole Sonic Forces, like Sonic Forces, yeah? Like, the way the story goes, it is actually cool. Literally, Eggman almost took over the world and all that, and that game, I heard that game actually last three hours, but the way, but here's the thing, on Sonic Forces, if you, if you, have, if you guys haven't played Sonic Forces, then I would I recommend try to skip I would recommend trying to skip this part if you don't want to get spoiled by um, what a, like a Sonic Forces spoiler. If you guys haven't played Sonic Forces, the thing is, in the middle of the game, after Sonic was beaten by Infinite, literally, and I mean literally, Knuckles said that he was dead, and then in the next scene, Knuckles said he was alive. Why would you say he was dead in the last scene when you're just gonna say he's alive in the next scene? And also, Pete Knuckles said he was being like he was being tortured for the last six months, but then it, he looks pretty fine. And he said, and Knuckles said he was going too far, or that no, Eggman was kind of getting too far. How come that was going too far when in the last games he literally almost destroyed the planet in half? Clash of Flash Flood, and then literally tries to like, oh, I don't know, like literally, I don't know, like tries to like, like destroy nature or something with technology, L literally. And also, Sonic 06, the game was kind of, okay, that was an interesting thing. The thing, the, the there's some problems in there that there's full of glitches. Like, just like, just like, because Sonic 406 is full of glitches. It's full of glitches. And also, literally, Sonic the Hedgehog kind of has a date with a princess. That's really weird. Is, is, is Sonic trying to become Mario here? Like, like, why? It's, I mean, hey, who needs some, I mean, hey, literally, why? Hey, and seriously, that's kind of what makes it. And also, Eggman is looking human-like in that game for some reason. I don't know why. And yeah, Sonic also dies in there. And for those who play Sonic 06, I think you might know what happened. So, and I mean, literally, Sonic Battle, that's a, that's actually that one obscure fighting game that no one ever mentions in a, in a while. And I think the best, I think the only thing people play most is to spam people. It's like to spam. Yeah. Um, what else is next for here? Um, literally, guys. Um, oh yeah, Sonic and on Sega All-Stars Racing, it was kind of cool. But the thing is, guys, my issue with this is that you literally had to p buy characters with rings. It's like buying, like, like, why? It's like buying setting options. Like, let's say you play a game, a Mario Party game, and you just get settings options. Oh yeah, Sonic Shuffle also exists for some reason. Um, Sonic Shuffle was quite a really odd game due to the fact that it was just some sort of Mario Party. It's some sort of random Mario Party kind of mechanic. Okay, Sonic Generations, I have no hate about it because it's basically... Because that's, I mean, I'm not going to hate on Sonic Generations. That looks kind of cool. That really is a cool game. Basic, it's like time traveling, which is... I actually like that. And classic Sonic also returns in. 
um, Sonic Forces. So yeah, Sonic Forces. I don't know why. Oh yeah, Sonic Boom. Let's all let's all forget this game. The reason why people hate it is just because the way it glitched and the character designs are and the characters the designs to Sonic is ugly. Why this is Knuckles so buff? Why is Knuckles so buff? And you play co-op mode in in Sonic Rise of Lyrics, it just the like the lyric frame rate is just like trying to freak out or something. It's like stopping every single second or something. Literally, why? <laughs> That's my whole issue with Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. And what and like when do you all get banished as Sonic? And who is Styx? Is she some sort of Sonic Forgotten character? What did the developer say? Oh wow, let's all put like Sonic let's all put Son like a random character that we might put in the Sonic game, but no, let's put it in another random Sonic game called Sonic Boom. I'm sorry, I, I, I literally didn't mean to do that, but I'm just saying, Sonic Boom was in, was not, uh, yeah, and why did, and why was that even, and there's even a show about that, and that show only lasted a year, from November 26th, 2017, to November of 2018, that show didn't even last long, the Olympics are nice, I promise, like, even, because, the, I mean, they even had a good storyline, um, let's see, um, Okay, Sonic Free Riders. That's like whole. That's I have an issue with that because the reason being I like my issue is that the way you try to like, like, like the way you balance on a board. Like this game was on X. Like I tried the Xbox Connect on that, but the real. But my issue is that you just try to like balance yourself to like. Like it's like you ride an actual hoverboard. That's cool. But the way the movement, the way you try to like, you even try to jump, but it didn't go so well. Like that's just so dumb. And literally, why? Just why? Right, I can go all day on this. Song Rivals Two was actually nice. Not gonna lie. It's but the thing is, you just race your rival to the end, and that's some interesting dialogue and some interesting um. Man. Sonic Rush Adventure wasn't wasn't that bad, um, literally why, um, and also Sonic Heroes wasn't bad, and Sonic the Hedgehog 4, alright, the issue is with this game is that literally it's just the same, it's like the same thing, well, well what I mean by the same thing is that it's literally based off on the classics and instead turns into modern Sonic and then after that, the frame rates. And then also, there was supposed to be three parts where you actually supposed to blow the death egg in part three. But no, let's just... Well, no, they just canceled the entire thing to make two parts. And and why was this game horrible? Well, because Dems also made it, and it's literally a special Sonic game. And it's not just take a jog, that's all. I dealt with that before. Come on, I actually played this game before. Yeah, also, yeah. And yeah, guys, that's kind of about it. There's some Sonic games I really don't know what to say else, uh, cause there's some random games I don't know, like Sonic after the sequel, what? And like Sonic after the sequel, Sonic Ages, never heard of that. And yeah, guys, um, oh yeah, if you guys, and also guys, please don't take this video so seriously. I like Sonic. I literally, literally just don't li I actually don't hate him. I don't actually hate Sonic games. I just liked it. I just have issues of what the storyline is and the mechanics and the way they play. That's all. So, and that's about it, guys. So, um, so yeah, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this video. And if, you, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Hit, leave a like, leave a like and the comment in the comment section below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you really liked this video, then what do you think? Do you think my opinion?